So, you just want to add some bounce to that busty, beautiful bundle. Not a problem. I have spent the last three days trying out every single jiggle add-on I could get my hands on. For research purposes, of course. And I will now show you the one that I believe is truly the best. But before that, I just wanted to give some advice to any new young 3D artists that are afraid of adding some bounce because they don't want to come off as perverted or offensive. There is nothing wrong with adding jiggle physics to your character. Not only is this knowledge required and experience Expected, if you ever wanted to consider doing character animation professionally for any AAA game company, it is also extremely unrealistic for you not to put in your character. Anyone who's ever dated a girl will tell you. Those things move, and they move a lot. Even when girls wear sports bras, which are designed to specifically stop movement, you're still gonna see this. And this. And this. And this. It's just a normal part of life. Most girls don't even think it's weird. The lead animator of Skullgirls hand drew the jiggle physics into all of her characters and had a lot of fun doing it. And people love the game. My point is, girls know their boobs bounce. Most of them are proud of it. It's not objectification, it's not inappropriate, it's just physics. So just put the goddamn bones on the body. Give them a weight paint job that looks kinda like this. Download this add-on from the description, go to edit, Preferences, add-ons, install, find the download location, install add-on, back into preferences, locate the add-on, check the box, and exit the preferences. Then go to pose mode, click one of the bones, then under the bone tab, scroll down to spring bones, and check spring and rotation. Activate play in animation, and do this again for the other side. Press the space bar, you're done. Now if for some reason you don't see both of your bones moving, try turning the activate play button off and on. These numbers control the movement. Influence is how much the bone is controlled by the spring add-on. One means the add-on completely controls the bone. If you change it to zero, the add-on will have no effect whatsoever. Gravity just affects sagging. The bone will sink more down the higher this number is. Whoever made this add-on did a great job, but they totally named these two backwards. Bounce actually controls the speed of return into normal position. The lower the number, the slower they move. And speed actually controls the amount of bounce. If you have this set high, they'll bounce like crazy rubber balloons. If you have it low, they won't bounce at all. Now. Here's the secret. A lot of bounce is quite normal, especially if she's doing action. But the trick to realistic bounce is speed. The faster you make them return to normal, the more real it's gonna look. But uh, don't be afraid to play with the speed. Sometimes you need to slow things down in order to find your core value. But hey, that's up to you. Anyway, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. Five, six,